Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 503 of One Piece today and I really hope that Sabu is okay after what uh, that Celestial Dragon just did um, but I mean, in the end this is um, not um, a surprise to see this uh, out of this uh, Celestial Dragon considering uh, what uh, I already saw of them before um, but yeah, it still sucks to see when this happens and really hope that uh, um, Sabu gets uh, to safety like I don't want to believe that he died there um, but yeah, it was definitely a really good episode and there was this... Um, specific moment with the people from Great Terminal uh, being helped um, and uh, I was surprised to see Dragon together with uh, Ivan and especially Kuma so that was something I was wondering about and I knew that um, Ivan was talking about Dragon previously when uh, I first uh, met him um, but um, I couldn't remember like the the exact details. So he was actually the the commander of the Revolutionary Army. So that's a, a pretty big deal. Um, and then um, I was not sure about Kuma. So that was my like the biggest surprise, I guess. So I went back to check uh, some previous episodes because I actually forgot um, about that moment when Ivan. Uh, met Kuma in person, so during uh, the war, so that was um, something that uh, I couldn't remember while watching uh, this previous episode, um, and um, while that moment doesn't really, like, I don't think it specifically says that Kuma was um, a member of this revolutionary army, uh, it still uh, like, hints it a lot, so uh, it was uh, pretty clear that Ivan was um, at least knew Kuma pretty well. So yeah, it's um, in the end, I guess this is not um, such a big surprise, like to see Kuma in that shape. So it seems that um, they were actually together at that point. Um, but yeah, that's still um, there's still a lot of uh, questions. I mean, I still want to learn a lot about uh, Kuma and uh, his um, like his real goal. But I guess I'll have to wait uh, for it to happen. So right now, I just want to focus on this uh, situation, and it's uh, not uh, um, that good um, yet. So there's this Celestial Dragon uh, arriving at this place, and there's going to be this uh, ceremony and stuff. Um, but um, Sabu found uh, that uh, as an opportunity um, to escape that place. So unfortunately, that thing ended up happening by the end. So the Celestial Dragon fired that uh, cannon or something uh, at uh, uh, Sabu's uh, pirate ship. So the improvised one, I guess. Um, but yeah, it wasn't... Uh, I directed it on Sabo, so I want to believe that he is okay. But uh, that ship is probably not going um, far like that. Um, but yeah, I really want to see what else is going to happen. Also about Dadan and um, A, so right now they are missing, but uh, they should be uh, okay. I'm assuming that they got uh, uh, help from uh, someone, like I would assume maybe uh, Dragon and uh, the others. Uh, but yeah, something to discover by watching these uh, next episodes, of course. And right now, just really can't wait to watch this next one. So, with this, hope you guys are ready. And let's start it. Yeah, and considering that, like seeing this happen now, how you, how he was suffering a lot because he thought Ace was in danger. It's even more painful knowing what ended up happening. is wasn't your fault but it's just how they are
Oh, damn. Oh man, these celestial dragons for real always oh, at man, and these people. It They're literally the worst there is. They're more wor worried about how the Celestial Dragon is mad rather than how a kid was probably killed. It really sucks to see things like this. Oh, they returned. I mean, I want to believe that Sabu is okay, so... Damn. So happy. Or like relieved. This already tells so much about how like how much Luffy is suffering at the present time. He cares so much about Ace. This is what happened. Damn. Probably felt that. That was really cool to see some teamwork from them. Hmm. Oh, he pro she protected him while crossing that fire. That's how she got those injuries. Damn. That's really big. And he carried her. Helping each other. It wasn't easy. Oh, he actually went there to get some medicine. Damn. Man, he did all of this. not doing that it's a good place to hide at least and that's impressive moments like these that really make you Get like closer to each other. And then there's these people who 
shouldn't even exist, to be honest. I get so triggered every time I see a Celestial Dragon, for real. And this is beautiful. Hmm. Similar to his father, like father, like son. Damn. Yeah. And even this really shows how much respect there was. <laughs> Man, I love learning about these details. Yeah, like I said. Really nice to see this. It's about Sabu. You saw what happened. Damn, Macy's reaction. Again, I want to believe he survived this. Yeah. Hmm. It's not that simple. Damn, he's going... Oh, she stopped them. I mean, messing with those guys is really dangerous, like we saw.
can't help himself. I mean, it's so painful. I mean, just the feeling like to feel like you just lost a brother. Definitely one of the worst feelings in the world. Letter. Oh, that's what he was writing that letter before. What does it say though? Yeah, I was doubting it would be dead. I wonder, was this a... Uh... Hmm... This... More important than... The actual, like, treasure, I guess. And this moment... No, even Ace can't help himself. It's just normal, I mean... They're so close to each other now. I hope they show Sabu, I want to believe he's... ...alive. But I wonder if this was the last time they saw him. Is that him? Oh, it's Luffy. Man, they keep implying that he died, but I don't want to believe that. I remember Ace mentioning his name for the first time. But it's also like, if there's no body, there's no proof, so... That really sucks.
You're doing a great job so far. Improved so much. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Completely. This really makes things a lot more sad. And he did. Man, this is just really amazing. How they showed so much during this backstory. I don't know if it's over now. But either way, I don't mind if they keep showing more, so I just really want to to get as as many details as possible. Um, but now there's uh, something like really bugging me. So, like after this video, I'm definitely going to rewatch. Um, like as painful at, as it will be, I'm going to rewatch that episode when um, when Ace dies because that's um, the first name he ever mentioned, Sabo. So. I want to see again what exactly uh, is said about him because I checked um, about Dadan and it was about uh, um, if Luffy ever saw her again to say hello for him or something. Uh, so that um, already already implied that she is still um, alive or at least uh, Ace believed that at that moment. So. Um, that uh, cleared it up uh, about Dadan, um, but uh, I really need to be sure about Sabo, because right now it's heavily implied that he just died, um, but I mean, I don't want to believe that, not just because uh, Ace mentioned his name, but uh, also because um, there was um, no body, so I'm assuming that um, if we found um, a way to, um, to escape uh, safely, um, but yeah, that was still really really dangerous and uh, it really sucks to see like those people caring more about uh, how the celestial dragon was feeling rather than how a kid was uh, like um, probably killed i'm going to say probably because i'm not too sure about this um but yeah i'm definitely going to make sure to rewatch that specific episode just to be sure of um, what exactly a a ace said because i can't remember if um he just uh, said some things about Sabo, but not exactly about uh, Luffy like uh, telling him something. Um, so yeah, it's something that I want to um, to be sure about. So it's um, definitely something I'm going to um, to watch uh, after this uh, video. Um, but yeah, it was uh, again a really good episode, and uh, it's um, it's like it's even more sad to see these things happening uh, after um, like. 
while knowing what's going to happen um, in 10 years or so, like with Ace dying. Um, and yeah, Ace was already... Uh, not Ace, uh, Luffy was already suffering a lot here because uh, he felt like um, he had just lost uh, Ace and then he was relieved to find out that um, he was still alive, uh, but only to find out uh, later that uh, Sabo was uh, most likely killed. So that's um, that was a lot of emotions for Luffy, of course, and uh, of course he couldn't help himself, like he, he just couldn't stop crying, I mean... How how could you even deal with uh, uh, like uh, feeling like you just uh, lost um, not just one but two, uh, two brothers? And I mean, not at the same time because Ace was uh, back before he learned about Sabo. Uh, but yeah, you guys probably understand what I'm trying to say. It's still really painful uh, to deal with um, all of these um, these emotions. Um, and yeah, it was still really beautiful to see this relationship between all of them and how they became so close to each other. Like they were literally brothers, even if not, um, even if they weren't blood related. Um, so yeah, I don't know what exactly happened to the treasure because Ace was saying that maybe some uh, guys from the military found it or the um, the Blue Jam pirates. Um, and uh, of course, I started thinking about Sabo. I I don't know, like, uh, I was thinking that maybe if Sabo um, is not dead, so if he survived that, uh, maybe he could have went there and uh, picked it up. So, not too sure, I kind of doubt that, but uh, something that um, is like a, a mystery to me right now, I'm going to have to be completely sure about it. Um, but yeah, just really can't wait to clear this up and to watch this uh, next episode. So, with this, really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.